Okay, I think we're about ready to mount our FC. Um, but before we do that, I'll show you one more thing here. Uh, like I was saying, I removed all my ground wires from my ESCs from the get-go. But, because all you need is the signal. Um, I do something a little different. You, you take a, uh, I use a, a, just a straight pin. Um, but anything like that that you can get these uh, ends out with, your pins. Uh, if you can get that you can get those out and then I take two pieces um, two connectors like this and uh, I put them on the FC like this okay so basically you've got your one two three and four signals then your middle on this end um, your middle is your hot your bottom is your negative that's all you need you don't need anything else other than that. You can do those direct to the board. You can do them however you want. I do them like this because it's how I've always done them. It's just easier and simple for me because I'm used to it. Okay. Um, next, you have to connect them and everything. But it'll work just like this. So what we're going to do is go ahead just because it's easier before you get the FC on. We're going to go ahead and solder all these ends to here. On here like they go. And then um, we'll mount the FC. And voila. There it is. You see I uh, soldered all the signals together. Soldered the 5 volt here. Uh, on the 5 volt to power the ESC. Run it to the positive and negative of channel one that will um, power your FC I've got the um, the VBAT line here uh, soldered to positive and negative of a 12 volt that's going to feed my telemetry um, that should do it we should be ready to mount our FC believe it or not we are almost done with all of our wiring solder at least the soldering for sure um, at this point all we have left to do is mount our FPV cam mount this little booger somewhere and install our receiver Put our post in, throw the top on there, six screws, and we're ready to test. Usually sounds like a lot when you start naming it all off. Let's go ahead and plug this up to get it out of the way. Tuck all wires. You want nothing hanging out that's going to get in the way. Anything, another step that I always do, um, just because I'm OCD and I have to check every connection before I fly, before every flight. Anything that's not soldered, uh, anything that's plugged in like this, once I get it plugged in, I'm sure it's how it's supposed to be. I test it, make sure it works, nothing's messed up. I always uh, heat up some hot glue and throw on there. Uh, just so that I know it's not going to come unplugged in a crash very easily. Okay, everything seems to be set up, seems to be ready. Um, not too sure about this plug right here. So I just went ahead. I needed 5 volts. I know these put off 5 volts. Um, all of the middle pins are 5 volt and all of the bottom pins are negative okay so if you need 5 volt um, for something you can you can just tap into these any of these pins and get your 5 volts so I'm just tapped in here for my cam um, just soldered uh, the connections on there uh, and that will work fine um, I guess we are ready to plug up and see if we have 
everything hooked up right or not. Uh, first thing I wanted to point out, never power uh, your VTX without an antenna on it because if you do, uh, you're going to toast your VTX and then you'll be buying a new T VTX. So yeah, never plug power up without having your antenna installed on your VTX. All right, let's go ahead and plug it up and just see. That's good. Everything's working. Everything's uh, looks to be working okay. I'm not getting any humming out of it. Uh, no white smoke off anything. Sounds good. Looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, unplug it. And we are ready to install our camera. Um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and strap this down. We'll install our camera, install our um, receiver for our Tyrannus, and then uh, put our post in, our, our columns and uh, uh, the top, and then we'll be ready to test. Okay, here now you can see um, I've went ahead and installed my uh, receiver um, and put a strap around it uh, to strap it down because basically it's about the only way to do it. Uh, the next thing you would have to do is just put your two pieces that hold your camera and stick your camera in there. I did mine a little different. Um, I had a different camera angle simply because the one that it comes with isn't, won't angle up enough for the way that I fly. I need to be at about 35 degree angle, so I had to add this. But, um, all that is left to do is plug it up that is the one major fault that I see with this design and basically really the only fault is that uh, camera angle only goes so far The problem with the camera angle is not that you can't get the proper angle, but it's that this camera that, that this kit comes with is so huge that you don't have room to tilt it that much with the way that the slots are in the deal. And so you see here I had to put a spacer on here. The only reason I feel comfortable with that spacer is because this screw goes to about right here on the post. And so, I'm, I mean, I'm, all it is is literally a spacer because the screw goes plumb through to about right here. So I know that it's sturdy, but it makes it, it makes the cockpit look huge. All that empty space. <laughs> And there we go. Um, I've got uh, my antennas covered. Uh, went ahead and installed the props. I have already checked to make sure that my props are spinning in the direction that they're supposed to be. These two were spinning the opposite direction. So I hooked up B Halley and went ahead and uh, changed the direction on both of those. So everything should be good. I haven't flown it or anything yet. I was going to show you before uh, what I do for, for my strap, my barrier. It's a little trick that might help. Um, I put a little piece of Velcro under here. I put a little piece of Velcro on the back of this so that when I get it where I want it, which is right there, 
it'll kind of help hold it in place. It's not falling out every time I change my battery. Also, I always put Velcro on my batteries. Um, you get this strap as tight as you want it, and it's more than likely not going to go off anywhere. But if you put a piece of Velcro on here like this, and then put it on there and strap it down, it's for sure not going to slide back and forth or go anywhere in an accident. Let's go ahead and throw this on there. I'll strap it down, start it up, and kind of show you what we're dealing with. Notice I said I would start it up. If you've never started it before, first time starting one, I've already got this programmed and everything so I know that it's safe you know otherwise never start it in your house with the props on um, if you haven't already checked it first first rule of quads props off Remember, you want your weight centered as best as possible. Always tuck that little sucker right there in. Otherwise, it will be chopped up. Pretty clean looking. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but... Uh, also, just to bling it up a little bit and kind of make it my own. Um, I usually do this, I usually paint this, but um, I, uh, I found this tape at the dollar store for a buck and thought I'd try it out. It comes in all different colors. Just stick it on there, trim it off with an X-Acto knife. Looks pretty good. This thing is not very heavy at all I mean I've got the battery on there which probably weighs as much as the quad and it's still not very heavy let's go ahead and start it up and see what it looks like you might notice the, the lens on my camera is a lot different looking looks a lot bigger I got the uh, you can get these uh, 2.8 lenses run cam lenses for like six bucks on Amazon um, gives you a lot more field of, of view, a lot better picture. Highly suggest changing that out. wait to fly this thing I promise I will have the maiden flight video a whole lot faster than it took me to get this video <laughs> so uh, probably by the time I get this video edited I will already have uh, the maiden flight video because I cannot wait to test this thing out using some uh, uh, three by um, let me see here a uh, five by three by uh, 4.5 bull nosed Dow uh, DAL props. Um, I'm not going to leave these on here because they burn up batteries so fast, uh, it's ridiculous. But I am going to um, get some punch videos with them before I change them out to these. Uh... Anyhow. All right, guys. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the build, and uh, check out the maiden video coming soon.